Here's how to connect a IP camera directly to the back of your NVR. In this case, we're using this camera and has a model number and serial number on the bottom. And uh, while this is a pre-shipment testing, it's to show you how to connect a camera directly to the back of your NVR. So this camera has an IP address of 10.1.1.65. All you need to do is use a Cat5e cable of course, you want to make sure these uh, connections between the camera and your cable going to your PoE injector there. You use the grommet. I have that missing because I'm just doing a tabletop test, but anytime you use a camera outside, make sure you use the weather grommet. And um, there's a video on how to properly put that in. So your Cat5e cable comes from the camera, goes into the injector, and the injector has two ports in there. On the left-hand side, let me kind of focus it in better. So the left hand side is where the, this cable here that's wiggling, that's where it's coming in from the camera, that's called PoE data, that's the one on the left. So that's power, the camera is sending data. On the right hand side is data in, and this is actually going to the back of the NVR. So here I'm going to show you what this is. These grouped ports over here, they're PoE ports. This is a LAN port. In fact, there's a little legend here etched in box that tells you what port is what. I have put in to uh, port 1. So with it in port 1, if I go into the main menu of the DVR, I log in using the passwords that's stated. That password I just did. It's stated on the top of the NVR. Once you log in, you go to camera, registration, camera shows up right there, 1.1.65. So if you wanted to connect to this camera in any way, you would use a computer with a network port and um, connect into the NVR to then connect into the camera. Do not try to connect directly to the camera. And that's pretty much it. This is how you connect a camera with a PoE injector into the PoE ports in the back of your NVR. And in this way, the NVR recognizes the camera, but this injector is actually providing more juice than the internal PoE ports inside the NVR to send power to the camera while keeping it within the PoE network inside the NVR.